How to use the Vortex Trading Strategy Today we will show you how to use the Vortex Strategy for quick trades starting at 5 seconds. This strategy is based on using the Vortex Indicator developed by Etienne Bottiger and Douglas Siegel in 2010. The indicator consists of two lines, positive vortex line and negative vortex line, which help to determine the beginning and end of the trend. How to set up the vortex indicator for quick trades. Set the period to 14 to make the indicator more sensitive to short-term price movements. Watch for crossovers of positive and negative vortex lines. Open an uptrade when the positive vortex line crosses the negative vortex line from bottom to top. Open a downtrade when the negative vortex line crosses the positive vortex line from top to bottom. These crossovers indicate the beginning of a new trend. Combine vortex signals with other indicators such as RSI or MACD to increase accuracy. You can learn how the RSI and MACD indicators work in these videos. How to use the CCI trading strategy. Today, we will show you how to use the CCI strategy for quick trades starting at 5 seconds. This strategy is based on the CCI Commodity Channel Index indicator created by Donald Lambert in 1980. CCI helps determine when an asset is overbought or oversold, which can indicate a potential price reversal. How to set up the CCI indicator for quick trades. Set the CCI period to 14 to make it more sensitive to short-term price movements. Watch for overbought and oversold signals. Open an uptrade when the CCI falls below minus 100. This indicates an oversold condition and the price may start to rise. Open a down trade when the CCI rises above plus 100. This indicates an overbought condition and the price may start to fall. Combine CCI signals with other indicators such as RSI or MACD to improve accuracy. You can learn more about how RSI and MACD indicators work in these videos. How to use the Momentum Trading Strategy Today we will show you how to use the Momentum Strategy for quick trades starting at 5 seconds. This is a strategy based on the use of the momentum indicator created by French mathematician Paul Emile Appel. Momentum shows the strength and direction of the trend as well as the further potential of its development. How to set up momentum indicator for quick trades. Set the period to 10 to make the indicator more sensitive to short-term price movements. Keep an eye on the indicator line relative to the 100 level. Open an uptrade when the momentum line rises above the 100 level. This is a signal that the price is gaining speed and may continue to rise. Open a downtrade when the momentum line falls below the 100 level. This is a signal that the price is losing speed and may begin to fall. Combine momentum signals with other indicators such as RSI or MACD to improve accuracy. You can learn how the RSI and MACD indicators work in these videos. How to use the ADX trading strategy. Today, we will show you how to use the ADX strategy for quick trades starting from 5 seconds. This strategy is based on the ADX indicator or Average Directional Movement Index developed by engineer and trader Wells Wilder. ADX helps determine the strength and direction of the trend, which is especially useful for quick trading. The indicator consists of three lines. The ADX line is a smoothed moving average of the difference between the other two components, plus DI and minus DI. The higher the ADX value, the stronger the trend. The plus DI line, or positive directional indicator, measures the upward movement of the price and helps to assess how much the price is moving upward. The minus DI Lenner, or negative directional indicator, measures the downward price movement and shows how much the price is moving downward. If the ADX value is above 25%, the trend is considered strong enough to open trades. How to set up the ADX indicator for quick trades. Set the DI length and ADX smoothing values to 5. 
watch the direction of the plus DI and minus DI lines. If plus DI crosses minus DI from bottom to top, the trend is upward, and you can open an uptrade. If plus DI crosses minus DI from top to bottom, the trend is downward, and you can open a downtrade. To improve the accuracy of ADX signals, we recommend using it in combination with RSI, Stochastic Oscillator, and Bollinger Bands Indicators. How to use the Supertrend Trading Strategy Today, we'll show you how to use the Supertrend Strategy for quick trades starting at 5 seconds. This is a strategy based on the use of the Supertrend Indicator, which was developed by Olivia Sieben and helps to identify trends in the market. How to set up the Supertrend Indicator for quick trades. Set the ATR period to 10 and the multiplier to 3. Open an uptrade when the price crosses the Supertrend line from bottom to top. Open a downtrade when the price crosses the Supertrend line from top to bottom. Combine Supertrend signals with other indicators, such as Moving Average or ADX, to improve accuracy. You can learn how Moving Average and ADX indicators work in these videos. How to use the ROC trading strategy. Today, we'll show you how to use the rate of change, or ROC strategy for quick trades, starting at 5 seconds. This is a strategy based on the use of the ROC indicator, which was first proposed in the works of Dr. Alexander Elder. The ROC indicator measures the rate of change in the price of an asset over a certain period and shows the percentage change in price, helping to determine the strength of the trend. How to set up the ROC indicator for quick trades. Set the period to 7 to make the indicator more sensitive to short-term price movements. Watch how the ROC line crosses the zero line. Open an uptrade when ROC rises above the zero line. Open a downtrade when ROC falls below the zero line. These signals indicate the beginning of a new trend. Combine ROC signals with other indicators such as RSI or MACD to improve accuracy. Learn how the RSI and MACD indicators work in these videos. How to use the MACD strategy. Today, we'll show you how to use the MACD strategy for quick trades starting at 5 seconds. This strategy is based on one of the most popular indicators, the MACD or Moving Average Convergence Divergence. The MACD indicator shows the relationship between two moving averages of the asset price. It consists of two lines, the MACD line and the signal line, as well as a histogram that displays the difference between these lines. If the histogram is above the zero line and the peaks of the histogram bars are consistently rising, then there is an uptrend in the market. If the histogram is below the zero line, the trend is downward. How to set up the MACD indicator for quick trades from 5 seconds. Set the fast line to 5 periods, the slow line to 13 periods, and the signal line to 4 periods. Watch for MACD and signal line crossover signals. If the MACD crosses the signal line from bottom to top, it is a signal to open an uptrade, while crossing from top to bottom can serve as a signal to open a downtrade. Use the MACD in combination with other indicators and market analysis to get better signals. How to use the Bollinger Bands Trading Strategy This strategy is based on the use of the Bollinger Bands Indicator, developed by John Bollinger. It consists of three lines, a moving average and two outer lines, which are adjusted according to market volatility. These lines expand when the market is volatile and contract during calmer periods, helping to evaluate market dynamics and potential price reversals. How to set up the Bollinger Bands indicator for quick trades, starting at 5 seconds. For short-term trades, use a period of 20 and a deviation of 2. When the price reaches the lower line and starts to rebound, you can open a uptrade. When the price touches the upper line and starts to recede, open a downtrade. Use Bollinger Bands with other indicators such as RSI or MACD for more reliable signals.
how to use the envelopes trading strategy. Today we'll show you how to use the envelope strategy for quick trades starting at 5 seconds. This is a strategy based on the use of the envelopes indicator, which was first used by Chester W. Keltner. The envelopes indicator consists of two SMA lines that frame the price chart. It helps to determine when the price of an asset becomes too high or too low compared to the average price. How to set up the envelopes indicator for quick trades. Set the period to 14 to make the indicator more sensitive to short-term price movements and set the percentage deviation at 0.05%. Watch how the chart crosses the SMA lines. Open an uptrade when the chart crosses the SMA from bottom to top. Open a downtrade when the chart crosses the SMA from top to bottom. Combine envelope signals with other indicators such as RSI or MACD to improve accuracy. Learn how the RSI and MACD indicators work in these videos. Try it. How to use the fractal trading strategy. Today we will show you how to use the fractal strategy for quick trades starting at 5 seconds. This is a strategy based on the use of the fractal indicator, which was developed by Bill Williams and helps to identify potential trend reversals on the chart. It consists of five candles or two periods. The middle candle is the highest or lowest, and on both sides of it are two candles with lower highs or higher lows. How to set up the fractal indicator for quick trades. Set the period to five. Now the fractal consists of 11 candles. Open an up trade on the second candle after the fractal if the first candle closed above the level of the middle fractal candle. Open a down trade on the second candle after the fractal if the first candle closed below the level of the middle fractal candle. In both cases, this is called confirmation of the fractal level breakdown. For increased signal accuracy, use the fractal indicator together with other indicators, such as moving average or RSI. You can learn more about how the moving average and RSI indicators work in these videos. Try it now. Follow the link in the description.